Thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to discuss binomial expansions and expressions. Let's look at these cases equations. Number one, expand and simplify. 3x minus y raised to power 4. Hence, use the first three terms of the expansion to approximate the value of 6 minus 0 0.2 raised to power 4. This is a question which was uh, in the KCC 2005, paper 2 mathematics, number 13. There are very specific instructions here. We're going to do the whole expansion, but in the application, we shall use the first three terms. So that one must be taken carefully. The expansion will be done fully, but in the application, we will use the first three. The powers of 4, according to the Pascal's triangle, the powers of 4 have coefficients which are 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. So now we're going to apply these coefficients to expand, whereby we begin with the first part you know, a binomial expansion usually has two parts, the first one and the second one. So the first one, which is 3 power x, will be raised to power 4. Then the second one, which is negative y, not y, negative y, will be raised to power 0. Now, in the next term, 3x will go down to the power of 3. So that negative y assumes power 1. As we proceed, 3x has to become squared so that negative y also takes power 2 then 3x goes to power 1 as negative y becomes a third and finally 3x takes 0 as negative y assumes power 4 uh-huh now we can use our calculators or otherwise to simplify 3x power 4, you know, 3 on its own, power 4 will give us 81. So this is going to be 81 multiplied by 1 to remain the way it is. Anything power 0 is 1. So y power 0 becomes 1. Remember, we have x power 4 at this point. Yeah, that is the first, the first term. Minus, in the next term, whereby we are beginning with a coefficient of 4, it will be 4 times 3x power 3. This will be 27x power 3. 27x power 3. Then uh, y power 1, it just remains y and it is negative y. That is why I'm starting the term with a negative y. In the third term, whereby we are beginning with 6, now it shall be 6 multiplied by and remember, I've not multiplied by my 27 by 4. Sorry, it should be 27 by 4. This is 108. Sorry for that. Yeah, 108 x power 3. Then now I have 6 multiplied by 3 power 2. That is 9. So 6 by 9, which is a 54 plus 54. X is squared and Y is also squared. When you square Y, it becomes positive because the negative will multiply with the other negative. 4 multiplies 3 power 1, which is just 3, and this will give us negative 12x, and y is to power 3. When y is power 3 and it is already negative, we have an overall negative on that term because raising to an odd power means that uh, there will be a power which will not have, or there will be a term which will not have another one to cancel it since they are negative. And finally, we will be adding now. We start with one. Three power, three x power zero becomes one. Then negative y power four becomes y power four. This is now the full expansion. After the expansion, we have to apply it. So let's check how to apply it. Remember, we are applying it to solve a given numerical case, which is a 6 minus 
0 0.2, also raised to power 4. When you look at the binomial numerical problem, and you also look at the binomial expansion, expression that is, then you realize that they are both binomial. So in this case, we are going to equate the first term in the binomial expression with the first term in the numerical problem here, whereby we will say 3x goes with 6. And this implies that x is equivalent to 2. Then negative y goes with negative 0 0.2. The second term goes with the second term, the other case. So negative y goes with negative 0 0.2. This will also imply that the value of y is equal to 0 0.2. Now we are going to substitute x with 2 and 0 0.2 where there is y. And we are using only the first three terms according to the instructions. So now I will be picking 81, then 2 power 4 minus 108, then 2 power 3, they also multiplied by 0, 0.2. And finally, I add 54, uh, x is 2, power 2, then 0 0.2, also power 2. So this is now the expression which we're going to use to get our answer. Let me begin by 81 into 2 raised to power 4. Then I subtract 108 into uh, 2 power 3, which is 8, multiplied by 0 0.2. Uh -huh. Then I'm going to add 54 into. I'm having a 2 power 2, which is a 4. Then I multiply that by. 0 0.2 squared. So what I'm getting is uh, 100, okay, 1,131.84. Yeah, this is just an estimation. When you take 6 minus 0 0.2, I'm getting 5.8, and when I raise it to power 4, I'm getting a 1131.64. So this is just a close estimation. And that is how we're supposed to work it out. We can look at a uh, number two. I'm also reminding you of our I'm reminding you of our airtime programs whereby if you want to purchase airtime of any amount to any network, you just go to the M-Pesa menu, Lipana M-Pesa. The pay bill number is displayed as 737356. Then the account number is the phone number that you'd like to purchase airtime for. Then you proceed with the transaction. The airtime is going to reflect instantly. So thank you for that. Utilize and invite your friends. Number two, use binomial expansions to evaluate. This is a question which was in the KCC 2006, number 11 in paper two. 2 plus 1 over the square root of 2 plus 2 minus uh, 1 out of the square root of 2 also raised to power 5. So let me begin by outlining the coefficients of power 5. That is 1, 5, 10, 10. 5, 1. Yeah. Then now we can start in the first term. I'm dealing with the first expansion. This is 2 raised to power 5. Then 1 out of the root of 2. This one will be raised to 0. The next term, 2 goes to power 4. And 1 out of the root of 2 takes power 1. Then we have 2 raised to power 3. 1 out of the root of 2 becomes power 2. 2 power 2, yeah. 1 out of the root of 2 goes to power 3. 
2 power 1, then uh, 1 out of the root of 2 goes to power 4. And finally, 2 will be to power 0 as 1 out of the root of 2 takes power 5. Takes power 5. Let's now proceed. 2 power 5 is 32. And 1 out of the root of 2 power 0 becomes 1. So this is 32. Plus, we're going to have plus in all the terms. So plus, in the second case, we are starting with a 2 power 4. 2 power 4 is usually 16 multiplied by 5. This is going to be 80. Yeah, this is going to be 80. Then out of the root of 2. Uh -huh. Plus, we are having 10 times 8. 2 power 3 is 8. Then 1 over root 2, when we square, it's going to be half. So it will be 80 times half, which is 40. So it will be exactly 40. Plus, this is 10 multiplied by 4, giving us 40. Then it will be 40. And when we take uh, 1 over root 2, then we raise it to power 3. We're going to get, when we raise it to power 3, now this one will be raised to power 3. Therefore, it will be, it will be 4 and root 2 at the denominator. So it will be 40. But now we are having 1 over, you have to multiply it 1 over 2 multiplied by root 2 which means 2 can simplify at this stage and give us 20, yeah? Plus, in the next case, we are having 2 power 1, which is just 2. Now, 2 multiplied by 5 becomes 10, and it will be 10 over 4, which can be 5 over 2. Plus, in the last term, we have 2 power 0, which is 1. Then, when we are talking about a uh, root 2 multiplied by 5, then it's going to be 4 root 2. So we have 1 out of 4 the root of 2. With this now, we're supposed to know that, uh, you know, this is the first expansion. This one is the first expansion. So we are adding similar terms. Let me go to the next expression now. Similar terms, but they will be having pluses alternating with pluses alternating with the negatives. So we shall begin with 32, but now minus 80 out of root 2 plus mm -hmm, 40 minus 20 out of root 2, <clears throat> then now we have to add 5 over 2, then we subtract 1 over 4 root 2. So now with that, now we can combine like terms, whereby 32 and 32 gives us 64, then 80 over root 2, 80 over root 2 cancels. Now 40 and 40 are positive, so they give us 80. Uh -huh. We are done with 40 and 40. This one and this one will cancel. 5 over 2 and 5 over 2 will give us 5. It will give us 5. Then this one and this one will cancel. That way, we'll be talking of a final answer of 64 plus 80 plus 5, giving us 149. So 149 is the final answer. Watch, subscribe, and share with friends. Thank you.